Ned Drew, the Daddy Device. I'm just gonna the of the game. First, we have to get this, put it in here. Be the this working before it's too late. I know, I see.
Okay, that's it. This is it. Got it. This should give me a chance to escape. What are you doing? Dear Hannah, Victor was rushed to the hospital and then to a courthouse where he was charged with the murder of Nico Jovic. Due to his attempts to subvert justice, he's been denied bail until his trial. Word is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency. But I doubt there will be much to be found. The potential buyers Victor had been courting came forward immediately. It was quickly proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. I can hardly blame them. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive containing years of his and Nico's research. Gray spent weeks chasing him down until he finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology of Tomorrow conference. After a heated public argument that sent the Technology of Tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two reached an agreement. Gray promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. A video of the argument titled Epic Dork Fight was posted online and went viral almost immediately. Within two hours, Gray was fielding calls from philanthropic backers wishing to fund their new endeavor. Mason, on the other hand, was fielding date requests from viewers who clearly have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. Ellie was surprised at first to hear that Mason wanted her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. After that, she plans on doing whatever it takes to get back home. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. Finding out what had happened to his best friend changed Gray almost immediately. For the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. He took the lead on finishing Nico's work and opening the majority of the research up to the public. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. Although she had been exonerated, it wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. More than anything, Nico wanted his work to make the world a better place. I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. The fact that Nico Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. The world fondly remembers those who always give, and soon forgets those who only take. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Which Kenny was not available in the case? Do you know the answer, guys? Let me know. The moon conch? Cherry thing? Or Coco Coco Choo Choo Cup? here they say it's a wicked place abandoned years ago by a family who could no longer take the endless nights when the restless spirits of the past haunted the grounds of thornton hall jessalyn thornton dared return only to vanish without a trace it's up to me to save her from the ghost of thornton hall Anybody here? Ah! I was starting here. Was well, who knows? Poop was coming up soon.
下面这个看，先要去。Okay, that is it for cool, cool, cool. See you next time. Bye.